plays Mario, Dual Mains, and Warren. That is correct. Yeah, I played a lot of Mario's Mario today, so it'll be exciting to see this. So who do you think has the advantage here? Uh, I want to say Mario. Mm -hmm. A lot of people seem to think that uh, Mario has the advantage in this matchup, in my experience at least. And I can kind of see why. I kind of feel like uh, if you can avoid the Dragon Lunge, then Corrin gets a combo pretty hard. Yeah, I can see it either way, because Corrin can keep Mario out with her long range. Yeah. But once Mario gets in because of Corrin's weight, like you're seeing now, there's a lot of combo potential there. Yeah, exactly. And Mario's really good for stringing together those up airs. Oh yeah, I play both of them, and they both have some interesting things. Mario seems pretty combo heavy, with the up airs, up ease, and whatnot. While Light, he he likes to try and take advantage of his movement to find openings. Mm. If Mer could just keep getting in like this, then... Yeah, it looks like Mer has a lead, but Korn can kill at this percent with the Pepper side B or even... Oh, that's it. That's oh, it does. Nice. Jump cancel up smash. smash. Okay, let's see if Light can bring this back. See how he's fishing like for the Yeah, a good uh a good uh tip or a dragon run will seal the deal at this point. Oh, yeah. Got his jump. I'm just seeing Jad mix up. Yeah, so one thing that light's gonna have to be wary of is not to get too desperate for the oh, ooh, nice just as I say that. <laughs> takes a stop. Not too much of a deficit. Corn can definitely rack up the sense pretty quick. Oh yeah, Corn has a very nice combo game. That's pretty good. Oh. Murder's all over the place. I think he got greedy there with the tornado. Oh, that's punch. Yeah, Light is still trying to find a way in. Instant pin the all purpose to. <laughs> <laughs> Find a way in Boxy Vlog. Yeah, it's looking not looking too great for Light right now. Yeah, I can see that Mer is playing a bit more defensively now that he has the percent lead. Mm -hmm. Just gonna should start fishing for that up smash. I like how. Rivals. Is that it? Not quite. I like how Mer isn't trying to take the kill too hard. Yeah, he's definitely on the safe side right now. With all this rage, though, he might still have to look careful, be careful around oh, yeah. Corrin. You always have to be careful. Ooh, good decision. Four kill. kill, kill. I don't think that kill will kill either. If he gets a grab at the ledge, at least a back throw. Oh, oh very nice. nice. That was smooth. Yeah, that's the thing. So with Corrin, like in some characters, you can just fly around the stage and just shoot the charge shot. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, whenever I play, uh, whenever I play Kirby, it's very. Uh, it can be a very polarizing matchup because on one hand, uh, Kirby has almost no way to punish Dragon Lunge unless you read <laughs> some unless you read some sort of mix-up. Yep. But if Kirby gets uh, uh, the Dragon Shot himself, then it becomes a lot easier because you can combo into it. Exactly. Mario has the perfect tool with the cape. Led into the. And the kill is this one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it looks like Light is opting to choose your suit now. And uh, Battlefield, I mean, it's a good stage to do it. Yeah, yeah. It's a very good stage for Zero Suit. I'd like to hear his reasoning. I'm not saying it's a bad matchup, but I wonder what he thinks that Zero Suit will do better. Well, I, I, I know uh, Ally hates this matchup. And another reason Zero Suit can do well against Mario is just because. She's a lot faster than him, and she's very mobile, and she has that range, so she can pressure him to save this, and it's going to be hard for him. Good point. Oh, that very nice back here. I think that was bad DI, but good on life of getting that back here. Yeah, so at this point, it can be kind of hard to catch here, so you're just going to stop as she is. So let's see what... Last game, Mer had the lead all the time, so I'm interested to see how he's going to adapt when he's going to catch up. Yeah, it'll be very interesting to see if the CB Lights starts playing conservative as well. Oh, oh. 
having a bit of trouble getting back on ledge. Oh, unfortunate. As he, he took his jump, and I think he had to get a little too fancy. Yeah, he's looking for the grabs. He missed Very two in a row, so Light should be keen to avoid this. Oh, drop shield. Very nice up here. Shield now, do it. Yeah, so I think I actually think we could have survived that too. But yeah, uh, it's down and away, correct? It's actually the opposite, just whatever the opposite way you're being launched. Ah. So at that angle, it would be right. It would be down and it'd be oh. down into the right. Yeah, I meant to get out of it to like avoid the last hit. Oh, okay. Uh, avoiding that last hit, I'm not too sure. But it can also, as a sheik man, it can be scary because if, if you get out early, you go so far up that you can just die at 30%. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So that's something to watch out for. So usually if, if I know that I won't die after taking the full hit, I'll just make sure I take the full hit and that way I don't die at some of the other mm -hmm. So it looks like the Zero Suit counter pick worked out well for him. Yeah, because he's staying sticking with it and with good reason. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that he took him to Dreamland. I think this is one of Zero Suit's best stages. So if you heard the the new rule set, uh, I have yes. So they were talking about how oh oh got it, not the sweet spot. So he will still be alive. But yeah, so the new rule set they say that Dreamland and Battlefield count as the same band, and this is actually kind of a good example because Zirsu and Mario both benefit from Battlefield. And <laughs> yeah, I would definitely say that Mario's going to be looking for those up smashes, at least. That's the only way to do nice up He is really catching him with those punishes. He's dying. Light's getting the kills pretty early with the He's oh, got a shield. lot of good momentum here. Oh, yeah. Nice speed reverse. Yeah, Mer's having a hard time getting in against the Mercy. I think he's just not sure. Yeah, Mer is having a hard moves. time dealing with those down Yeah, I think he's just having a hard time understanding what he can and can't punish. If you're not sure, it can be pretty daunting. Oh, oh, almost. I think he's going for the stage spike with that Almost got the reverse. I mean, uh, up smash. Yeah. Ooh, nice hit. Yeah. Oh, no, not quite. Yeah, seriously, honestly, in my opinion, has one of the best recoveries in the game. I would definitely agree with that. It's, it's if only because uh, of the mix up that you can do with it. Yeah. Oh, oh is he? A little fancy. <laughs> but Mer's not out of it yet. He can definitely come back. Oh, certainly. Yeah, All right, that's a good see. way to start it. Getting grabbed by Mario at zero is very scary, so let's see if he can. Oh, oh my. Yeah, he has oh, I think he's uh, that's not it just yet. I think he's trying to get a grab start with his guard. Oh. Again, I think he's DIing to the right and up. Oh, that's yeah. Why yeah, that's why he's dying so early. Yeah, because I didn't see the. I may have been mistaken. I didn't see the red lightning, though. Yeah, so. I think the red lightning is a good indicator, but it's not always accurate. Sometimes it just die anyway. But, but yeah, in that scenario, I think he definitely can survive. So, we'll see if Mer adapts and figures out how to we'll avoid dying that way. But I think almost yeah, every stock, that's the way he's done. Yeah, uh, punish up B. Uh, he is pretty good at, no at realizing what moves are... What moves he can and can't do, at least in my experience. So let's see if he can keep that train going. Yeah. So I think one way, if you don't, if you don't know what's happening or going on, or you don't know the matchup, it's you can like poke and prod and then figure out slowly what's what's going on. Yeah, Especially that's with two stops, seen. you gotta be wary of how much you want to give up to get information. Yeah. Exactly. Everything's very close. Nice grab. Nice back here. I think you get a follow up on that. Excellent pressure. Mer finally lands. Good on him, not air dodge. 
Ooh, avoiding that up. See how far up he went. Light has quickly brought this back. Oh, I think if actually if he released a second earlier, he would have died at the platform just started moving. Yeah, that one pummel might have not been worth it. Him, yeah. Oh, that's so mm. strong. You gotta watch out for that. And that down beat making it very hard for her to get in on him. So it looks like this has been a good counter pick from uh, from Light switching to Juicy. It looks like you're able to win the match. And it's possible that it's just a hard match. Oh, All right, he's even the back up forward smash. This Not a big depth set at all. This could definitely go to a 2 2 game. It's good to see. Oh, oh. But it's good to see that Murray hasn't given up despite losing the last two games. Indeed, he does not seem to be losing any momentum, so that is very good for him. You see how Zeus is dancing on his shield out of his range? Mm -hmm. That's why this match is Oh, oh, not quite. Very that good, was a good eye. Confirmed by Oh, <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Nearly. They're both just playing with fire right now. Mm. CD Light is not out of the woods yet. Here's his oh. Yep, he still has his jump, so he's going to be okay. Oh. Uh. Just narrowly misses the ledge. Man, that's so dirty, edge guarding with Zare. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. So, good on Light for winning 3 1 over Mir. Good games. Uh, that was definitely a worthwhile counter pick. Yeah, so I think I'm going to be playing next. Hi, right, good luck, man. So, I've been going all secondaries this point, so I think I'm going to try to close it out with Mark. So, uh, it was nice casting. Nice casting,